Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be doing a review on the Fairtex BGV5 boxing gloves. So check it out. Alright guys, so today I'm doing a close-up weigh-in and review on the Fairtex BGV5 boxing gloves. I got mine in the all black colorway and 14 ounces. This is a Velcro closure only glove and uh, the design of this glove padding wise is geared towards um, mainly sparring. Uh, but that's not to say that you can use it for overall training. Uh, which I've been doing with these gloves. Uh, it's full genuine leather construction. These are handmade in Thailand. And like all Fairtex products I've done reviews on, uh, the quality is top notch, beautiful construction, beautiful leather, um, and a really classic look to it, you know, with the Fairtex logo, as well as the patch on the glove. Very clean, very classic looking, and uh, just a beautiful glove. So looking at the leather here, you can see it has kind of a semi-gloss look to it. The multi-layer foam padding they have here, I'd say is um, on the medium to soft side. Maybe a little firmer than the BGV 9s, but not by much. Uh, it says handmade in Thailand, genuine leather. Um, going down to the, the Velcro strap, it looks like to be about a five inch Velcro strap. So it's definitely larger uh, than I'm you know, normally used to seeing on a Velcro strap glove. Uh, 14 ounces has that fair text patch that's made out of cloth um, The back of the wrist you have about a three quarters of an inch of medium density padding and About an inch of soft density padding on the inside uh, Portion you can see it has a nylon uh, Liner polyester nylon liner on the inside um, And then a half wrap around velcro strap So it starts off on this edge right here before it wraps around on the back of a glove uh, double stitching right there across the palm. You can see the, the, the actual padding stops right about where the piping for the, the, the thumb starts. And then on this side, it comes up to right about here. And then right here is just the leather itself. There's no actual padding integrated in there. Uh, the grip bar on this glove is a uh, pretty good size. I'd say it's medium, but it's, it's nice and dense. So you can definitely feel it when you make a fist, uh, uh, but no ventilated hole. So this glove does get a little on the warm side and a full length attached thumb, which is really nice, especially for a sparring glove. So there you go. Just to show you guys the kind of the edges and the overall construction, close up of the glove where the thumb meets the index finger. All looks really clean. The thumb piping, just an overall nice glove. Some stains on the inside. I don't know if that's from me or if that's from, it's probably from me just sweating. Probably dried it like you know when you sweat your body gives off salt so I know that's kind of nasty but that's just dried up from my sweat using these gloves nothing nothing big you can clean that off and here's the right glove and overall just again beautiful construction wouldn't expect anything less from a Thai made glove to be honest with you you know 99.9% .9 of the Thai gloves I've ever owned that are have been made handmade in Thailand are just beautiful and made very well so let's go ahead and put these on the scale and see how much these weigh very nice feeling glove let's go off with the right glove so the right glove is right at 13 and a half so about a half ounce underweight not a huge deal and the left glove is at 13.7 so 13.6 so pretty pretty close to each other and almost on weight let's go ahead and do the review hey what's up guys carlo here and today i'm Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Fairtex BGV5 boxing gloves. Got mine in the all black colorway, 14 ounces Velcro closure. This is a Velcro closure only glove. Sizing wise, you can get it anywhere between 10 to 16 ounces. Colorway wise, you can get it in all black like I have here. They also have a black and a white. I believe a white and black as well as a red. And they may have other colors too if you go through like a different website like Muay Thai, uh, uh, Muay Thai Sport. I forgot the name of the actual website. I'll put the link in the description box. 
uh, where they might have uh, more colorways to choose from. Now, the intent behind this particular glove is to, give it to, um, to be more of a sparring glove, just based on the consistency and the feel of the foam padding over the knuckle area. Uh, Design-wise, it has that classic Fairtex look uh, with the Fairtex on the back, handmade in Thailand. Full genuine leather construction that has more of a satin, kind of a satin finish, maybe a little bit of a semi-gloss look to it uh, right there. Uh, it says Fairtex on the back of the Velcro strap. This is about a five inch Velcro strap with the 14 ounce weight tag right there. Nice big piece of Velcro so it stays attached while you're sparring with this or doing bag work or whatever you may be training with. Uh, so it has that half Velcro strap that starts off from the inside wrist right there. Uh, the inside liner is a polyester nylon liner on the inside, pretty standard for what you find in most Fairtex gloves. About an inch of soft density foam padding that comes up to right about here on the thumb, as well as on the left side, you have it come up right here, as well as about three quarters of an inch padding. So you definitely have uh, more pronounced padding, especially on the wrist area to give you that stability that you're looking for. Uh, you have that piping right there, double stitching, no ventilated holes, unfortunately, would have been nice. These gloves do get a little warm. Uh, medium sized grip bar that's nice and firm as well. And a nice parallel thumb, as well as a deeper finger compartment and it is a fully attached thumb. So it doesn't use just like a little strip. It actually comes all the way down and uh, connects down to this little U-turn area right here to give you that full length. Uh, quality wise, this glove is top notch. I haven't had any issues with the durability. These, these are gloves that are just like the, the Mexican made gloves like Reyes and even winning. These gloves are, are made really for the long haul. Um, and and the, the premise behind this, especially in countries like, in my opinion, at least from what I've seen, you know, countries like Mexico, Thailand, uh, Japan, on top of them just having a lot of pride in craftsmanship and, and the quality and the products that they make, not just boxing gloves, but just products they make there in general, you'll, you'll tell, you can tell that they really take their time and the pride in, in putting that in. But the other thing to keep in mind is countries like um, Japan and, and Mexico and Thailand and even the Philippines, you're dealing with a lot more heat and humidity. So you'll, you'll notice that uh, a lot of the gloves are, are, are de definitely thicker, a little bit more durable because you're dealing with, I guess you could say more extreme elements in terms of like the humidity, the sweat, a lot of the, uh, what you're doing when you're training. So you need kind of, you kind of need gloves to really match that, especially in those regions of the world where you have a lot of heat, humidity, a lot of sweating, a lot of moisture. And, and because of that, the gloves need to be able to withstand that. So you can kind of see how that reflects in the gloves that they make here, but the quality on, on these are top notch. You know, beautiful leather. The actual logos are nice and symmetrical. They look great. I mean, that's a classic Fairtech logo, especially with the, the cloth pads. So these are intended to be sparring gloves. So it's nice that they use cloth. So you don't really have to worry about cutting or, or scraping your sparring partner. A good amount of, of wrist support right there. You can see that, again, the leather looks great, consistent. The stitching, you can see, it looks perfect. Nice, consistent stitching. No, no pieces of thread sticking out. You know, grip bar. The leather's tucked in nicely in the finger compartment, full length attached thumb. So just beautiful overall and really nice high quality foam that they use on the inside. A very well balanced glove, about a half ounce uh, underweight. Uh, these are supposed to be 14, they're about 13 and a half, but you can see, you know, that the fact that they put a good amount of support on the wrist, it balances the glove out really nicely. Now putting these gloves on, the first thing you notice is how deep the finger compartment is and what that does is it really forces your hand to rotate underneath and, and really dip and curl your fingers underneath so it really puts your knuckles in, in that, that premier position that the position you want them to be in to land rather than hitting kind of with the, your four fingers right here sometimes you have gloves again i mentioned this in other videos where you don't really get that really deep finger pocket where you can really curl your knuckles under you kind of get one of those so it feels like you're almost like punching and landing with the these part of your this part of your hand rather than on the knuckles and, and then you kind of have to overcompensate by ro rotating your your hand over and really kind of doing that where uh, you know properly designed gloves that have the proper ergonomics for your hand you shouldn't have to work that hard all you should be able to do is clench down make a fist and your knuckles are exactly where they need to be at so excellent comfort wrist support feels fantastic especially for a velcro glove because of how big of the velcro strap is and they give you a good amount of padding right there. Uh, the thumb feels really good. I don't feel like my thumb jams. It does feel a little bit on the roomy side. They give you some padding right there, uh, but it's a little bit on the roomy side right there. Nice deep finger compartment with a piece of neoprene. Um, so you can make an excellent fist. The only drawback I find with these gloves is I wish they put a softer foam 
on the inside of the glove. The, the foam that is resting against your hand on the inside is really stiff and hard. It's almost, it almost feels like a piece of EVA or like a rubber sheet. And because of that, it doesn't feel like your the foam kind of like wraps around and, and kind of like conforms to the shape of your fist. It's almost like, you know, rather than it conforming to your fist, it just kind of lays on flat on it like this, rather than kind of your, your fist sinking into the foam and really getting that kind of like pillowy feel to where your hand feels like it's really uh, over, you know, I wouldn't say overly protected, but it just feels like it's wrapped in the glove. But this, it feels like there's maybe a little bit of an area like right around here where it feels like there's a little bit of a pocket of air because of how rigid the foam on the inside is. But outside of that, uh, the gloves feel really nice. Uh, protection and performance wise, I would say, definitely say that these gloves are medium density. So I would say they're good for sparring. Um, good for bag work and a really a good training glove overall. I wouldn't say that they're, they're a flat out puncher's Mexican style glove like horse hair where your knuckles sink all the way through, but they're not like a bag glove either that you use that really stiff foam or like molded foam where when you feel pushed down on it with your fingers, it just feels really stiff. So you get a good combination of both, both feedback, protection and pop with these gloves. Not bad at overall good knuckle position, especially with how deep the finger compartment is. So I definitely like that. The only thing, I, like I mentioned earlier, would be just that foam. I wish they put like a soft layer that went around your hand to give it a little bit more of a custom feel. But outside of that, they feel really nice. And again, I'd say more on the balance side. Cost-wise, depending on where you get these gloves from, um, you know, you're looking at anywhere between like 80 to $95 uh, for these gloves, um, which is a great price. All things considered, um, the quality is top notch. Really nice foam that they use on here. Um, overall, the comfort is really good, minus that, that hardened foam on the inside against your hand. A good thumb, nice deep finger compartment. Um, and for the price point, say you get these for $89, you're not gonna find a glove of this quality at that price point. I mean, I've seen synthetic gloves that are not even close to being as nice as these that are more expensive than these gloves. So, you know, like anything else that I've gotten from, from Thailand, um, it's really hard to beat them in that bang for buck department just because they do it so well and, and they don't sell their products at exorbitant prices like, you know, $400 for a pair of gloves. So I, I definitely love that. I think it's a great value if you're looking for a good pair of sparring gloves. Um, I definitely would recommend these. Um, just keep in mind uh, with the sizing on this, this, these run, I'd say a little bit on the smaller side. So if you do have longer fingers, uh, uh, bigger hands, I would definitely go up to the 16 ounces. These 14s fit me perfectly. Um, but outside of that, I think they're fantastic gloves for the value. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put a link in the description box where you can find these Fairtex BGV5 boxing gloves. I'll see you guys later. Take care.